We've seen the basic application of how to respond to the gun in the waistband. What's really happening though, it's not just the gun in the waistband, it's any time the arm is like this. Any time the arm is open like that and there's this space between the rib cage and the elbow. That's when I can insert the hands. Right? Say for example, just to cover the um, similarity here, because we mentioned that when you're looking at the self-defense scenarios, they may not always be entirely realistic to you. They may not seem applicable, but we're still looking at a way of moving that's based on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu way of thinking about movement. So let's say, for example, that Nathan would be on his back. And can you just spin your head this way a little bit? Yeah. Okay. And if I would have my knee on his stomach, well, you know this position from grappling a lot, right? It's called joelho on the barriga, or the knee in the belly. And he doesn't like this, so he may push. Look at the shape of his arm right here. It's the exact same shape that he makes when he tries to take the gun out of the waistband. Right? Now, this is applicable because I can do the same thing. I can insert one hand and then cover with the other hand. And I can pull to open the elbow. Right? The more he sticks to my knee, the more torque I create on the shoulder. Maybe I can create so much torque that I could pass all the way to the other side and sit, you know, for an arm lock or something, right? It's just the idea here. I'm not saying now that we should move to anything more than just the gun defense. It's just that this scenario where the arm is bent and the hand is close to the hip shows up a lot in jiu-jitsu. Right? It shows up a lot in jiu-jitsu. It shows up even in the self-defense curriculum when Nathan holds me in a headlock. See, the arm is bent and the hand's close to the hip. The only difference is my head is in that open space. And that's why to retract my head, I step back, right? Remember this motion? We just did this with the gun. When the hand was in the belt and I held after stepping into base, I kept one foot planted and I stepped back on the other foot to move him through that open space. I do the same thing when I move out of the headlock, right? The headlock is being held the arm is bent in the exact same fashion. The hand is close to the hip because he's trying to pull me down. And maybe he's trying to punch, so I lock all this up and I take care of that. Then I just plant one foot and I move back and away. It's the same thing. Look, in fact, once I take the head out, I use the same motion. I get the arm, spin a little bit. I get the arm behind the back. So we end the same way. Right? We end the same way. Even on the ground, if Nathan is on top of me, right, sorry, uh, I'm on top of Nathan, and he's laying on his side, and face this way, please. Maybe I managed to get to this position, but he wraps my head. You know, it's the same scenario, right? My, the hand is, the arm is bent, 